Hey folks, I'm Mike. Do you hate ads? I hate ads. You know what I like? Patreon.com slash Inkdependence. It keeps this blog ad free. <laughs> hello, hello. All right. So today we're doing a little unboxing. This just got here in the mail. This is from Lemur Inc. And uh, it says keep being awesome at the bottom. How fun is that? Is there anything on the front end of the show? No. Nope. Okay, so let's uh, unbox this. A slightly less uh, drastic uh, unboxing tool. Not as not, not as good as a K-Bar. Still pretty good though, especially versus plastic. You can, you can probably do it. All right, there we go. Swiss Army knife. And Swiss Army did open. All right. I actually never ordered anything from Lemur Inc. before. This is uh, the shop of my uh, friend John Phelan, who I see at Pinjo's a lot, so I don't tend to order stuff online. But this is something that I had to order online because. It is a limited edition guy. Let's go ahead and... Oh, there we go. Lemur Inc. Nice little packing slip taped to this uh, very well secured thing. Let's get into this secured thing. If I can. Well, now. Get in, get in there. All right. All right. This is something I was afraid would uh, actually sell out before I went to a pin show. <laughs> so, all right, take that. <laughs> I actually really like this serrated, uh, this is a serrated Swiss Army knife. You don't see these super often, at least I don't. This is a uh, the Officer Suisse, uh, and I really like this one. It's one I've had forever. It's, uh, it's good at being bow wrap. out. There we go. All right, what else is in here? Got like a card. There's a lemur ink card. I wrote a little note. Thanks for your order. I hope you love the new Twisby. See you at Chicago. Best John. Right on. That's a fun little, uh, fun little, uh, fun little note. I like it when people include a note. Maybe a little fashion, but I like that. So go check out Lemur Inc. Uh, John is a cool guy, and uh, he's got good stuff at his store. All right. So this is the new Twisby. It is a Twisby Eco. I've already got a couple of Ecos. Here are here are my two. Uh, and I actually like this pen a lot more than I thought I ever would. Um, this is the regular Eco, I think, and not the T. I think I have a preference for the T, but whatever. This is the new one. So beggars and choosers and all that jazz. Of course, it's flipping. <laughs> got, got stuff on the ends here. Let's get a small, smaller blade. So it's army knife. Let's use all the armies. There we go. And uh, let's, get, uh, let's get this side. Maybe that'll do it. Ah, there we go. Perfect. Nail it. Nailed it. All right. So this is the Twisby Eco packaging. If you haven't gotten an Eco before, these are really great. They're about 28 bucks, and uh, it's a piston fill. It's a very reliable nib. Uh, good pens. I haven't had a bad one yet, and these haven't cracked or anything. So got some uh, care instructions, some silicone grease stuff. Like you can take these apart. They give you a little wrench, a little plastic wrench. It's like, hey, use the plastic wrench and not the metal wrench. Uh, the metal wrench is what comes with some of the other ones. Uh, but this is a plastic pen, and I guess they don't want you to use the metal wrench on a plastic pen because it might ruin the whole thing. All right, so there's our, our plastic wrench right here. We got a little bottle of silicone grease. This is not, by the way, the kind of grease that you'll use to eyedropper a pen. Don't try it. It won't work out very well. It's a it's not what this is for. This is for lubricating pistons and such. Um, but for that for that use, plenty good. All right, take this out. This is a very nice packaging. I like the way it's in here. He had a lot of bubble wrap on there, but I don't think it was really needed. This thing is pretty secure. Look at that wrench. How cool is that? All right, take that away. This is going to be a broad nib. It says, don't use alcohol. Yeah, that's a that's a good little warning. All right. Thanks very much, Twisby. I actually did use rubbing alcohol one time to try to clean a pen. It was a Lamy Safari, and it darn near melted it. So don't do that, kids. Um, this is the new Transparent Orange. I think that's what they're calling it. Uh, Eco Piston Filling Trent Pen. It's just actually got an orange dot. And it tells me this is a broad nib. I haven't got any Twisby broad nibs, so this will be fun. I think this orange is real cool. It's still got the red finial, which is... I mean, maybe they should have changed the color of the finial because red and orange don't go together super well, but I think it's all right. Uh, beautiful clarity of the barrel. You see this nib. I'm looking at it up close. Yep, nib looks nice. Um, the thing about Twisby Ecos is that the actual, the marking on the nib ends up being just below this collar. So you actually have to pull the nib out. Uh, yeah, it's abroad. So you get a fucking, there we go, perfect. So when you push the nib back in, See, it's, make sure it's on the feed right. It was not. These actually come apart pretty easily for cleaning and that sort of thing. I like that they have the, the recess here on the feed. Tells you where to put the nib. 
put the nib about there, so it's rotated correctly. I usually hold them like this, and then, shoom. And uh, yeah, this is the regular Eco and not the T. It doesn't have any of the, um, the sides on it like the T does. The T has a triangular section, which some people love or hate. I happen to like it. All right, perfect. So uh, yeah, real pretty, nice pen, exactly kind of what I was expecting. In fact, it actually looks better than I was expecting. If I'm honest, I, I like this a lot. So very cool. It's got a nice, uh, got a nice look to it. In fact, I really like, I think the Eco is great. This is the very first generation Eco. Um, and I've actually, I think had I might have had a couple of different inks in here, but this one has been here for a long time. It's um, uh, Scotch Brown, I want to say, or Brown Sugar. It's one of those Monte Verde Browns, but I love it in there. So, yeah, there you go. There's the transparent orange and the uh, the brown. Let me uh, let me just do a little bit of, uh, let me fill it up. I'm going to fill it up with this one. This is Graffon Faber-Castell Burned Orange. This is a beautiful pen. It actually looks so good empty, but too bad. I'm going to fill it my handy dandy uh, nib blotting cloth. Open up the burned orange. That'll look like that. I think that's gonna look good in there. And what you wanna do before you put the nib in the ink is you wanna put the piston all the way down. And then you're just gonna work the piston. I like to draw it in once and then expel it because that gets rid of like some of the air pocket. And then I like to fill it up again. That'll get you pretty close to a full fill most of the time. So, go ahead and stick this in here. Get it out of the way so maybe you can see it happening. That's actually a pretty good fill on the very first try. Squish some of that air out of there. There we go. Now it's full of ink. All right. All right. Now, some makers don't like to make a transparent section because a lot of people are not um, super familiar with how fountain pens look, and they think, let me close this for safety, they think that being able to see the, uh, the ink there on the feed is bad or that there's air bubbles or something and that's bad, or they see it like on the back of the nib here, but don't worry, if your pen does that, that's working as intended. That's exactly what's supposed to happen. And so I got a very close to a full fill on this, uh, this piston converter and actually holds quite a lot of ink. Uh, let's just go ahead and see how it writes right quick. Grab a notebook. This is an Africa notebook that you saw me do an unboxing with uh, in the jet pen stuff. Uh, let's go ahead and use this page. I'll zoom in a little bit more. Perfect. All right. Actually, turn the lights up a little bit. Make it hot. Delicious. All right. This is burned orange. And a Twisby Eco. Uh, transparent. Uh, N S. Yep, real nice, I like it. I'm gonna like this pen a lot, I think. Uh, so there you go, unboxing, Twisby, transparent, orange, beautiful pen, I think. Nice nib, feels good. See y'all later, peace out.